uh, fodder, uh, getting quality fodder. Most of us, uh, we enter into dairy farming without a plan. We are supposed to plan from from the other from the other end before bring, thinking about the cows. I encourage uh, each each and every farmer or the prospective farmer to think of what are the cows going to eat. That is that should be step number one. So we should have a plan on how to to establish the fodder, fodder establishment plan, and also where to sell the milk before even bringing the cows, because those are the greatest challenges uh, farmers usually face. Yes, you have, uh, let's say you have uh, plenty, or you have a uh, X, Y number of cows, but you don't know where you're going to sell the milk. And also you bring, or you buy so many cows, but you don't have the plan on how to feed those animals. So I think that's where I started. I started on the wrong footing. I bought 10 cows, but I had no, I had not planned for uh, how to, uh, to get the, uh, the fodder for those animals. So those are some of the challenges I faced. And another challenge is diseases such as mastitis. As I've told you uh, previously, I lost at least two cows from mastitis. They had chronic mastitis, and uh, the, after consulting the veterinary doctors, the, the result was uh, just to, to cull the animals. So those are some of the challenges I faced. About the market, the milk market, I can say uh, our proximity towards Nairobi has uh, really been a plus, so I can't complain about the market because at least our cooperative is able to pay the farmers uh, milk at between 40 and 45 shillings. So I cannot say that uh, it's, it's, it has been a challenge.